and never depreciate your value and beg for someone to love you if they that's, don't that's, love that's, you that's automatically. A powerful, that's a powerful step in there. Never depreciate mm-hmm. your value mm-hmm. by begging. By begging someone, someone right. to love you. Exactly. When someone don't love you, mm-hmm. They don't love they you. They don't love you. Mm-hmm. Rejection is painful. Mm-hmm. But one thing I want to say is the rejected stone became the chief cornerstone. Rejection is an announcement that God is taking you into a new season. Hi. Hello, guys. Hi, Timot. Hi. How are you? You look pretty and beautiful as it's usual. It's pretty I like beautiful. This. I like I like, I like this uh like jumpsuit this. that you got on it's and um like the two piece. The is it two piece or it looks like a jumpsuit? I thought maybe it's like a jumpsuit. You've been seeing me all this yeah? time. You've been seeing me all this time, but I like it. Yeah. Keep them coming, keep them yeah, coming. Yeah, because they are you look nice. Thank you. Mm, you, you look, look very handsome too. You look very yeah, nice. I know. I love the leather going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I told myself that I can do the leather, guys. Uh, today, yeah, you're feeling yourself. I'm feeling you? myself in the leather. <laughs> yeah, I like that's the how leather. it is. By yeah. the way, uh, let's pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We just want to say thank you so much for this wonderful episode that we're getting into. Amen. This is our third episode, God, and we just want to give you all the glory for mm. what you are doing in us, Father. As usual, we pray that we descend so that you can ascend. We pray for knowledge and wisdom from above. Amen. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and there is no one else like you. We honor your name and we give you all honor and all glory. Father, to every single person who's watching, I pray that they be blessed. I pray that they be transformed. Father, no weapon formed against them shall ever prosper. Father, whatever they are going through, no matter what it is, rejection, abuse, trauma, Father, I pray that you kindly remove everything that they are going through in the name of Jesus. Father, we don't take this lightly, but we know that with you we've got the victory and the power. We exalt your holy name, God, forever and ever. We are so grateful, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Father, we pray that whatever we're going to speak, may it be your knowledge, may it be your wisdom, and may it be your power. Mm. Father, we download from the corridors of heaven. And we know that your wisdom is what's in us. So when we are speaking, it's not us. And I pray that let them not see us, but let them see you. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Father, our union is covered and blessed by you and is protected. We pray, Father, for the draw of the Holy Spirit around everybody who's listening and their families. Yes. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, so hello, Eps- Mister. We episode got, three. Episode three. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I'm ready and I'm excited. Uh, We've got a very interesting topic today, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And uh, keep them coming, guys. Keep them coming. We uh, love as them. usual, we always say that if you want to send any of your questions, you can send them to Mister and Mrs. Phoenix Show mm-hmm. at gmail.com. And if you want your name to be mentioned, just straight away, guys, I want my name mentioned. Oh, guys, I don't want my name to be mentioned. Just Mm -hmm. put me in the hiding. We understand confidentiality as usual. And guys, we are so excited that you have managed to join us on Mr. and Mrs. Phoenix Show, episode three. And we're going to go like what we said. We can't wait to reach a thousand episodes. (laughs) We can't wait to reach a thousand episodes with you guys. And please share, subscribe, turn on the bell notification for future posts that are coming. If you like what you see already. Okay, guys, we love you so much. And we are back again. Yeah, we are back. We are back, 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 back. So, guys, let's dive right into it. Uh, so, basically, guys, we picked two questions from two people, one male and one female, same similar questions, actually. And we thought, let's just address it from both sides so that no one feels like they're being left out. So, yeah. we are here with these questions. Sorry, I didn't have to do that. Hey guys, so we've got one question from James who is in Jamaica and the other question is from Miriam who lives in Botswana so basically the question is hi guys it's been lovely seeing your videos I have a question I've been married with 
I've been married to my wife for three years now. We have two beautiful children. However, we have been having problems in our relationship because I am not accepted in her family. That is the question. So do you guys have any advice on how to deal with this kind of situations? Right. Mm-hmm. And then the question for Miriam is, hi guys, it's so lovely to watch you all the time. I find your videos very funny. Thank you so much for what you're doing. I have a question. I've been experiencing sort of like rejection. Basically, sorry, that was my interpretation. I've been experiencing rejection from my husband's family side, from my husband's family. Um, his sisters, his mom, they don't appreciate me. They don't value me. We have one child together and they speak to him all the time. They don't talk about me. They don't ask about me. They don't care about me, basically. And he doesn't really do anything about it. He just seems like he's going with the floor. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think this case quite is a deep. bit, it's, it's quite deep. Uh, it's quite a... You know one thing about it mm-hmm. i don't like talking about rejection yeah i know because too. i'm a victim I, I went through a lot of rejection mm-hmm. in my life and sometimes you start to wonder to say why me even from a young age from is. a young age yeah and it kind of like crushed me like mm-hmm. because rejection is like a cancer mm. it crushes your soul mm. in deep mm-hmm. like right now as i'm talking if, if i'm talking about rejection mm-hmm. i i, I have reliving. i have yeah it's like i'm leaving people doing whatever they're doing to me mm. and you'll be doing good to people mm. like you'll be a person who just want to be good to someone <laughs> to do good to someone but somebody that don't that, realize mm-hmm. it and they don't care about it. They don't appreciate it. They don't you. appreciate it. And it it used to bug me a lot. Like, mm-hmm. God, why are you putting me through these mm-hmm. fears? And I didn't even know. Maybe God was putting me through this fears so that I'll be able to speak it. Yeah, 100%. Because you can never, you can never talk about rejection when mm-hmm. you've not experienced it. Mm-hmm. 100%. Because I was actually going to say to you that, you might not be going through this type of rejection, whether yeah. it's in marriage. Yeah. You might be going through rejection at yeah. work or like yeah. on some level. Yeah. I feel like whatever we're going to talk about in this conversation can also be relatable yeah. to yeah. You, other people, you know. Yeah. So, and I would say that reject, like what I say, that rejection is like a cancer because mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the wounds don't heal completely. I see. The pain of rejection. Mm-hmm. stays with you forever mm, okay so when it comes now to rejection mm-hmm. from the people mm-hmm. that are supposed to love you mm-hmm. which is the people that married you mm-hmm. and they are doing whatever mm-hmm. that you married to or that married you mm-hmm. and they are doing whatever they are doing like what miriam and james is going Experience, through yeah. that's the most painful thing now. Oh, yeah because mm-hmm. you are expecting these people to love you mm-hmm. You are anticipating that maybe they're going to be there for me. Maybe Mm -hmm. they're going to show me the other side. Mm Because most of the people, we are coming from families Mm -hmm. where people don't even like you. Mm. But then you're expecting that the family that you're going to marry to, they're going to love you. (laughs) But then all of a sudden, you see all hell break. It's double trouble. Damn, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. And I can feel right now when she's, I can feel Miriam when she's going through, Mm -hmm. when she's going to sleep on the pillow right now, sleeping. Mm. Tears will be flowing. Like, I went through it all. I was having countless tears to say, God, Mm -hmm. I helped this person. Mm -hmm. I was there for this person. Mm -hmm. God, I'm still a young person. Mm -hmm. Why am I going through this? Mm -hmm. Why are the people doing whatever they are doing Mm -hmm. to me? I'm just young. Mm -hmm. Do these people just know that I'm just a 13 year old boy? I'm just a nobody. They don't treat me. I don't even know what life is. And then from 13 years, I'm getting all the rejection that I I didn't even know the word rejection existed until when I grew. Then I started 
reverting to that and I started seeing uh, yeah. oh okay so this so that was, was rejection oh. that was rejection mm-hmm. when you go to people's homes and they're and you're told that you yes. get there at the door you knock and these are your family and they don't open for you mm-hmm. and then you have to go back because yeah. your mom was here you didn't it's just it's i don't want to go deep into it because every time we talk about these things it breaks it's my heart and i my soul just feels we're gonna talk okay? about i am i'm gonna Are be sure i mean it's it's it's, it's 50 funny 50. That how we always talk about this like guys t and i we talk a lot in our house and we always yeah. talk about these things we always go back and talk about them so it's I'm I'm sort of happy that we also get to share yeah with people and I also like the point that you made that whatever I was going through yeah maybe God was trying to tell me something so I can probably speak about it one yeah. day and it's going to help someone and I actually wanted to add on to that and say it's always good it may not always look like there's a reason when you're going through it in that moment sometimes it may you may have clarity but sometimes we're not always have clarity but it's always important to stay strong and have faith and just know that uh god has got your back god sees ahead and he sees your tomorrow you don't know tomorrow you don't have yeah. no control over your next breath just like i i i don't know how i did that right so you have to understand that god has got you yeah you have to understand that you don't know why this is happening to you uh-huh. but hopefully in the future you will know yeah. or you might ever even know we yeah. are not entitled to always have the answers 100%. to the things that happen for us 100%. but i will give you an example you might say why is this person not appreciating me why is this person not accepting me but in that moment, maybe God is saying, Oh, I'm seeing them one yeah. day putting poison in your tea. Yeah. Yeah. So let me remove you from yeah. them or let me remove them from away from you. Yeah. So I just want you I just always feel like it's always important. Yeah. That's something that I have learned. That's something that we have learned. You yeah. just always see like things. what is like, the light uh, at the end of the day. In the Bible it says that in all things give God the praise. So which means like in the that's my favorite verse of, of all time. That. In all things, give God the praise. So whatever you're going through, just give God the praise mm-hmm. because you don't know that probably what you're going through, there was something worse that could have happened. Mm-hmm. It's like mm-hmm. you are walking mm-hmm. in the mall. Mm-hmm. I mean, you are going to the mall mm-hmm. and then and you get involved in an accident. Mm-hmm. A lot of people start to mourn, mm-hmm. cry. Why did I get in an accident? Why <laughs> did I? But uh, I was on my way to the mall. Mm-hmm. Then after 25 minutes, you hear that the mall was bombed. Mm. And God was trying to protect you 100%. from that to happen. Mm-hmm. And something can happen mm-hmm. that you probably didn't like. Mm-hmm. But God is probably trying to protect you. Mm-hmm. That was my prayer every single mm-hmm. time. But I want to say this to mm-hmm. Miriam and James that... While you're still going through whatever you're going through, mm-hmm. I want you to remember that your partner is not just your responsibility, mm-hmm. but your number one priority. Mm-hmm. The Bible says something that two becomes one, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which means whatever I am going through, mm-hmm. some is going through it all mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people, um, I would say is how we see it, yeah. right? How we have accepted this from day one it has always been you and i together yeah there's no to become one as yeah. t is coming here sam yeah. is coming here yeah they're now living a life mm-hmm. right it's always been t and sam are now living their life together mm-hmm. so like you say my pain becomes your pain mm-hmm. how i feel my joy becomes your joy you want to see me prosper yeah. you want to see me win i want to see you win yeah. we're winning together yeah. like what i do it becomes it's sort of like an automatic thing that it just becomes me and you together yeah. and so i think it's quite important when you take that approach yeah. Yeah. to your marriage yeah. to say this is my person this is my person this and the other person takes that approach trust me it will it will work it just nullifies everything yeah. i want to say this right that whilst you're going through whatever you're going through mm-hmm. 
it is your partner's responsibility i'm talking about mm -hmm. your partner where the rejection is coming from mm -hmm. it is now his or her responsibility to make sure that you are protected at all times mm -hmm. from the family mm. if your partner is doing her best to mm -hmm. respect mm -hmm. to honor to love and you've got a good husband or mm -hmm. a good wife mm -hmm. and your family does not reciprocate it's not on you mm -hmm. it's on them mm. i myself will 100% conclude that they don't love me mm -hmm. because if they do love me and honor me mm -hmm. and respect me mm -hmm. they've got to love what i love if she's a very good woman mm -hmm. and she's doing whatever her best to do whatever she can do mm -hmm. for my family and they still don't want to fix things with me and mm -hmm. her I will conclude that they don't love me. Mm. Because one thing that I know 100% is mm -hmm. blood mm -hmm. is thicker than water. Mm. Yes, they've said it. But blood cannot guarantee love. Marriages, relationships, they've been destroyed because people allowed families to do whatever they want to mm -hmm. do with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the killer of most relationships mm. is family. It's 100% family. And also, it's also the two of you who have now allowed, like what you've yeah. said, said from the beginning, yeah. is what you have allowed as mm -hmm. my partner yeah. to say, to, you've allowed them to infiltrate, you've allowed them to have a say. Yeah. You have also accepted that yeah. division that yeah. comes from them. And also one thing that I wanted to add on is, when you get rejected, I feel like it also tells you a lot more about that person. Yeah. 100%, right? Because they have shown you who they are. Uh -huh. They have shown you their character. Mm -hmm. And I would say, never depreciate your value and beg for someone to love you. Yeah. If they that's, don't that's, love that's, you that's automatically. A powerful, that's a powerful step in there. Never depreciate mm -hmm. your value mm -hmm. by begging. And by begging someone, someone right. to love you. Exactly. When someone don't love you, mm -hmm. they don't love they you. They don't love you. And if they, wow. if you love me and I don't reciprocate that love, uh -huh. why would I then not, why would I then, why would you, right, mm -hmm. then have to force yourself to be part of me when I don't want you to be a part of me. Sometimes they do that because of status quo. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, they fall in that trap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They want to be called mm -hmm. Mrs. Phoenix. Mm. Even though they are not getting <laughs> the love mm -hmm. from mr mm -hmm. phoenix and the love from mr phoenix mr. family mm -hmm. they will continue to die in silence mm. they cry and no one can hear them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i can concur to this mm -hmm. because when you are a person who's going through rejection mm -hmm. You don't know your next steps on how to handle your situation mm, mm -hmm. because you will start to get into a season and a period whereby you start to feel like I'm the one who's at wrong. The so what you are saying that never beg for someone to mm -hmm. love you mm -hmm. is the most powerful statement mm -hmm. that can redeem mm -hmm. or revive someone. Because one thing that you got to understand Mm -hmm. A lot of people are going through rejection. Mm -hmm. They are yearning to be loved because they've never been mm -hmm. loved. They've never been loved mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by anybody. Wow. To just tell me that I love you. Mm -hmm. Or to just give me a hug. A lot of people are dying in silence. A lot of people they when they when they sleep, they cry. It hurts. 
It hurts, 100%. It hurts. Right every- now, someone who's watching me right now, Sam, mm-hmm. who's watching us right now, mm-hmm. is going through what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. To say they don't know what to do mm-hmm. with their life. Mm-hmm. They are crying in silence. Mm-hmm. They are dying. They are walking cops. That's... Mm-hmm. 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 So... It's all because people are yearning to be loved, mm. which is 100%. Everyone wants to be loved. Mm-hmm. But what you said, something that it clicked my, mm-hmm. to say, never yearn, mm-hmm. never beg, never, depreciate, for, never depreciate your value. Never, never in your life mm-hmm. beg for someone to, love, to you. love you when they don't love you, they don't love you. Understand that someone does not love, love you. you. Don't beg for someone to love you. Just be you. Uh, what I suffered is, I suffered because, I suffered rejection because I never knew how to love myself. Mm. You never put yourself I first. never put myself first. The day that I discovered that I am seeking me, me, mm-hmm. I need me. Mm-hmm. It's like I, I needed me. Mm-hmm. The person that I have got. Mm-hmm. I, I needed to love that time when I was going through all mm-hmm. all it all mm-hmm. is I needed to love mm-hmm. me. And see the, the moment value you have yeah. in yourself. If you have been rejected, right? At some point, like you say, these people, they will come back and they will probably love you at some point. They would want to love you at some point. You don't know how. I will say one thing. When they come, it's not like you are going to reject them. No, you're going to still show them love. But you have now an understanding of how to deal with these people. You now know their characters. You now know how to tread with them, right? And also another thing that I really like, what you say to me, uh, what you've said before, obviously, in one of our videos is... Never let the family that you come from ruin the family that comes from you, which means your children, your husband, Uh your wife. Uh It doesn't matter which side it is. And if people don't show you their loyalty in certain situations, do not bank that they will show you their loyalty when you need it the most. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because hundred percent. Because I'll be hundred with quite a lot of people right now. Uh, like what I mentioned before, like a lot of people they are working in status quo. Mm-hmm. They know that they are not loved, mm. but they just want to keep a position. Mm-hmm. Marriage or relationship is no longer a space of love. It's now like a a work position. Mm. I'm the general manager here. <laughs> Even you know that the place that you are at, you don't even like it at all. Damn. People just want to keep that. They don't mind the beatings. They don't mind the bruise. They don't mind the attacks. They don't mind whatever they're going through. They just want to hold on. They just want to hold on. And there is nothing wrong in holding on to your marriage. If you can see that Mm -hmm. there is quite a lot of potential Mm -hmm. in your marriage, Hold on to it. Mm-hmm. But if you see that things are not working well, I would rather be safe than die in marriage. Mm. I remember the issue that we were talking about the other day. And I feel like this is such an, it sort of kind of leads to things like this. Yeah. Where uh, tick, I think there's a person from TikTok, they died. And the husband's family then came to take away the house, the cars, everything that the husband is all in and now thinking that we, now that we're talking about it it's just it just rang a bell like so that means that there were already problems that were happening in yeah. the marriage whereby probably the wife was not appreciated yeah the wife was not loved in yeah. that family and now that the person the link is gone so now they have full force to attack yeah and grab and leave you in a pay in a place of anguish yeah you don't know what to do the people that you thought they loved you you probably would have seen some 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 um some pointers but like you say you want to hold on to status quo you want to hold on to something yeah you choose to ignore mm-hmm. and when all hell breaks loose there's nothing more painful i'll be honest babe there's not nothing more painful than than to have a a family that doesn't love you mm-hmm. and then you have a 
husband that is supporting his family mm. and he knows that they don't love you and is not ready or willing to mm -hmm. fix this mm. issue he is is now becoming the middleman mm. of the problem mm -hmm. because he's now divided both sides mm -hmm. he wants his family he wants you mm -hmm. you want him but his family does not mm -hmm. want you but also he is there for his family. He is there for the gatherings. Mm -hmm. You are not allowed to be there at the mm -hmm. gatherings. You, okay. They don't want to see you. And sometimes you have not done anything. Mm -hmm. But they are now making you to look like you are the wrong person. Mm. You are the bad person. Wow. When they themselves are the devils. Mm. <laughs> but I'm a person who says straight as I always say guys. Okay. It's so painful when your husband does not protect you or your wife mm. does not protect you in this course called marriage. Mm. It is your responsibility as the man of the house or the wife of that husband mm -hmm. to be in a position whereby you protect him mm -hmm. at all cost. Mm. This person is a stranger. Yeah. He doesn't know anything about your family. Yeah. He doesn't know what they used to do when they were young. <laughs> he doesn't know that your family is probably the worst family in the whole world. Mm. But it's your duty to make sure that he is protected or she is protected during that time of diplomacy, mm. during that time of pain or fight. If you support your family yeah. and leave your home, mm. you are now protecting your family mm. but crushing the home that comes from you that comes from you i understand absolutely because i was just thinking about we came there's a video that came up that we came across that was saying oh um if you choose your partner or your wife your husband over your family one day they will leave you mm -hmm. and you'll be left having to go back to your family but my my thing is, even if it doesn't work out for whatever reason that you've you've made a decision to say, I'm going to stick by my wife, I'm going to stick by my husband, you've done that. And then if it doesn't work in the future, you have to be proud of yourself that you honored your vows. Yeah. You honored yeah. your commitment yeah. and you stood to do what was right in that particular yeah. time. Yeah. My family, mm -hmm. they are supposed to love mm. you mm -hmm. more than they love me. Mm. So you're saying that they're supposed, the way they treat me is a sign of how much they love you. Yes. That's what I'm saying. That they're supposed to love me because it's a reflection mm. of how they truly love me. Mm. If wow. they treat you crazy, <laughs> don't be fooled mm -hmm. to think, ah, they love me, but they just don't love my wife. Mm. No, you're fooling yourself. Okay. You're fooling yourself. Explain that a little bit. Because anything that they do to you, mm. we are one. Mm. So anything they are doing to you, they are indirectly doing it to me. Mm. Okay. So people will think, ah, she is the problem. My wife doesn't, my, my wife is not loved by my family. Me, I love my brother and my love, I love my sister. I love my what, 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 but you are, you're actually forgetting that you and your wife becomes one. Mm -hmm. So when they are uh, saying some things about your wife, mm -hmm. bad things about your wife, no, 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 they are actually saying it to you mm. indirectly. <laughs> Period. That's... Or if they are saying things about your husband and they say your husband is like this and this and mm -hmm. that, they are saying it indirectly to you. To you. Wow. They don't care for you. No. Then. They don't respect you. No. They don't respect your feelings. No. They don't respect your no. love and they don't respect what you have chosen. No. So they don't respect your choice. Yeah. Because you give them a chick to kiss and they are kissing you. Wow. And you think as a husband, oh, yeah, my family loves me. No. If they love you, they love what you love. Mm. And I'll be hundred with Miriam's husband if you're listening. Mm -hmm. Protect your wife, bro. Mm. Or uh, James' wife. Mm -hmm. Protect your husband. Mm. Protect your man, sis.
because it's a problem protect your that man. you're probably not seeing yeah protect your man sis yeah <laughs> it's your pro it's your problem that you're probably not seeing oh, because the more this guy is getting rejected it's so painful mm -hmm. to see a man writing that message this guy is going through it oh, all man shame this guy is in pain mm. he's in anguish mm. he doesn't know what to do mm. because when you are facing rejection you don't know where to point to you don't know where to tend to mm. you feel like your whole entire life mm -hmm. is just collapsing mm. because when you hear people enjoying mm -hmm. i've had people going for parties that i never got in wow. invited <laughs> i never got invited Damn. But you're expecting an invite. Yeah. But you never got invited. Right. And then, the and then you hear that some people who are at my level, mm. they were invited to those parties. Mm. I never. No. It left me into a place whereby I was thinking, wow. So I was talking about this issue to someone mm -hmm. and the same person was at the party with everyone. Mm. <laughs> what were they talking about? Wow. Mm. And the person that I was talking about this issue mm -hmm. was the last person you I had. Mm. And thank God that when you are in love with a wife who loves you dearly, who you share everything with, who you talk to, who you speak to, God has redeemed you because of that mm. uh, one thing i will say to conclude about james and mm. uh, miriam i would say thank you so much but i'm gonna tell you straight mm -hmm. uh, you are never gonna force people to love you mm. you are never gonna allow them to say okay i want them to love me yeah they will love you whenever they feel like mm -hmm. rejection is painful mm -hmm. but one thing i want to say is the rejected stone became the chief cornerstone Rejection is an announcement that God is taking you into a new season. 100%. Don't allow them mm -hmm. to put you into that phase mm -hmm. and you think that you're nobody. You will become the chief cornerstone. Period. You have got the ability. And everybody who's watching who's been rejected, mm -hmm. just know that God has got a purpose for you. If God didn't have a plan for mm -hmm. you on this earth, you wouldn't be alive. The fact that you're still alive You've got a purpose. Mm -hmm. You've got a plan. God has got something in store for you that is about to manifest. Mm. You don't know the debt. You don't know yeah. the time. But surely I tell you this, it will manifest. Miriam or whoever or anybody who's going through this, mm -hmm. try to discuss it with your husband, mm -hmm. your feelings. Let them out. Let them loose. Tell them that I'm feeling this mm -hmm. way, babe. I'm going through this. Mm -hmm. It's affecting mm -hmm. me. If he's not willing to fix mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. or if he's not willing to be with you, mm -hmm. then that's when we can speak about familiarity. Mm -hmm. That is familiar with you. Yeah. Then he doesn't value you. Mm -hmm. So, to me, that's what I can say to yeah. to, to to everybody or James or Miriam. 100%. I can say that. That's what I can say. That. I think you hit the nail on the head. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be. You are never gonna force. Never force someone to love you. No. If somebody don't love you, they don't love you. They don't love you period. don't force yourself. Never, never. Never in your life force yourself for somebody to love mm -hmm. you. Be you. Be you. I went through rejection. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to mm -hmm. love myself. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I've been rejected by friends. You see? It is what it is. <laughs> but, guys, you're not the only ones going through it. Rejection is everywhere. People and even from family i'm not just talking about your your family like your parents your sisters i'm talking about your extended family people who are jealous of you you know there's a lot that happens but it's we painful. just wanted to just touch on you know the main basic yeah. things and i think next time we can try discuss. we can try and speak about uh rejection, rejection on a wider scale rejection in families mm -hmm. yeah we can talk about that. like your own family rejecting you yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's quite deep. That's painful. I just came across the other day on the internet. Um, oh gosh, a long time ago, and then someone was saying, "Oh, I cut off my mum 
for a year ago and i was like we need to discuss about that that is crazy i think we need to talk about that yeah and guys if you wanna if you want us to talk about um signs that your marriage your relationship is under spiritual attack yeah just drop us a comment we will do it for you guys we don't want to do a video that's going to go to waste <laughs> is it yeah because that's going to be quite a lot of uh informative mm-hmm. um because a lot i of, think we'll do it anyways huh? i think we'll do it anyways <laughs> okay you're gonna do it anyway all right that's fine because we've got two major signs right we're gonna yeah. explain them deep uh so that you understand it yeah. so yeah but we'll see how best we're gonna do this the, the 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 signs and whatever it's not gonna be like a podcast it's gonna be a different topic yeah because we're still gonna do it it's because you made some really interesting points when yeah. we're talking about it so because it's like, not it has to be it's two yeah and it's I'm not like, five come on people need to hear about this so it's, we're definitely gonna do the video all right let the, they have to drop a comment first yeah, and then just we'll drop see one person please just one drop person a if you see one person that wants Say, to hear about you know it. about the signs that the signs. your your relationship yeah. or marriage is under attack just drop the comment yeah you won't regret it drop the comment there's only two signs yeah drop the comment. all right guys thank you so much for watching this has been a long video and we say that we love you so much we love you and we'll see you in episode four yeah and see you guys next time Mm-hmm. Take care.